What is going on trash talkers? We are back with another episode for you. In today's video, we're gonna give you our draft profile and analysis for University of Northern Iowa offensive tackle, Trevor Penning. All that and much more coming your way right now. All right, before we get into today's video, be sure to hit that subscribe button and like the video as it will help us out tremendously. So sit back, relax, and enjoy today's video. All right, Nick, one week until the NFL draft. I am so excited. I can't wait to be in Las Vegas for the draft. Nick, we have another draft profile to get to, and we're, today we're going to be talking about UNI offensive tackle Trevor Penning. This guy stands at six foot seven, three hundred and twenty-five pounds, just a behemoth of a human. PFF has him ranked as the number five offensive tackle in this draft class, with a pro comparison of Trent Williams. Now, I know that's very high regard, but Nick, you're going to tell us a little bit about those strengths and weaknesses that give us a little bit of that Trent Williams vibe. Uh, when you take a look at his career stats, though, he plays played 31 total games at both left and right tackle. He played 1,973 total snaps. He gave up in those three years, six sacks, six separate QB hits, and 30 total hurries. This guy was a phenomenal presence on the offensive line at UNI and is going to continue to do so in the NFL. Nick, why don't you tell us a little bit about the strengths and weaknesses that Penning brings to the table? Trevor Penning is an absolute mammoth of man, as you mentioned, and he had the highest run grade out of any offensive tackle in the history of PFF grading, a 99.9 this guy was an absolute bulldozer. Take Quentin Nelson and put him at tackle, you get Trevor Penning. This guy has one of the nastiest streaks when he is bullying defenders off the line of scrimmage. This guy is what you want when you have a strong run game. He is going to absolutely open up holes and seal the edge for that run game. But when we look at the weaknesses, Trevor Penning does need to learn to control his emotions a little bit on the field. This guy plays with such emotion, which lends itself to that nasty streak, but sometimes it can get out of hand. Think of an Indomitian Sioux, but offensive line version. That's what Trevor Penning is gonna offer. And then he also allows defenders to get into his body. He needs to improve his hand strength and keep defenders at bay. He can't succumb to a lot of the finesse and bull rush moves that are going to come at the next level. He was able to handle himself at Northern Iowa very well, but the NFL is a different ball game and it comes with the elite of the elite at the edge rusher position. This is going to be worrisome for him as a pass blocker. 100%. And obviously, UNI is not in a Power 5 conference. In fact, they're not in the FBS at all. So he's going to see competition that he was never allowed to see when he was in college. When you take a look at potential teams that might utilize the services of a Trevor Penning, we have to start off with the Washington Commanders. I believe that the Commanders really need to solidify the offensive line in front of Carson Wentz. They have done so terribly in the offensive line department it is unfathomable ever since they've lost brandon sheriff and trent williams and all these other guys year over year they have not replaced the talent they, they used to have and trevor penning could go a long way in getting that done i think that the commanders would be well advised to get trevor penning on their offensive line Another team that we need to take a look at would be the Baltimore Ravens. After losing Alejandro Villanueva to retirement, that left tackle spot is wide open. And with the strong run game that the Baltimore Ravens have with Lamar Jackson under center, they need to make sure that he has all the running lanes available, including the actual running backs on this team. They need to make sure that position is completely solidified and they can do that with the best run blocking tackle in the draft class in Trevor Penning. Another team that could utilize the services of Trevor Penning would be the Los Angeles Chargers. One year after drafting Rashawn Slater to be their left tackle, the Los Angeles Chargers could really utilize a right tackle, insert Trevor Penning. With his nasty streak and his ability to really run block, Austin Eckler would have the perfect offensive line in front of him for running lanes. And then obviously Justin Herbert throwing to Mike Williams, who's now under contract for a long period of time. Keenan Allen, who is a star studded wide receiver, receiver you have so much potential on this offense if you can just solidify that right tackle spot Trevor Penning would do that very well for the Los Angeles Chargers 
And then let's take a look at the Pittsburgh Steelers, a team that needs to improve this offensive line with Mitch Trubisky about to be under center for the Steelers as their new quarterback. They're going to need to make sure that this offensive line is taken care of to not only protect him, but to also help out Najee Harris as the run game is really going to have to take over as the strong point of this offense. And they can do that with solidifying this offensive line with Trevor Penning, really help Najee Harris get around the edge of the offensive line creating that seal Trevor Penning would be great with the Pittsburgh Steelers at the end of the day Trevor Penning while he didn't see top tier competition proved himself worthy at the senior bowl when he was absolutely decimating some of the top tier edge rushers in the NFL draft this guy is no joke he showed himself against top tier competition and he's going to continue to do so at the NFL level I'm fully invested in Trevor Penning being one of the better offensive tackles we have for many years to come but I want to hear from you guys. Let us know in the comments down below what you think of Trevor Penning and where you would like to see him end up. All right, well, that's going to be all for now. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell. We go live every single day. That'll be all. Peace and love.